to the age-old question, why Filipino architecture? Architect Francisco Bobby Manosa has but one reply, why not? In a lifelong journey that has spanned more than eight decades, Bobby Manosa has forged a truly contemporary Filipino architecture. One that is rooted in the past, but looks fearlessly toward the future. It is through design, through design that, that, that really identifies the culture of the country. It begins with a Baha'i Kubo. With its simple frame and seemingly crude construction, the simple peasant hut contains all the forms and elements, the essential spirit of Filipino architecture. Architecture must start with that Baha'i Kubo. And, and, and through this Baha'i Kubo, we must evolve simply because it's an indigenous house. It evolved into the Bahay Nabato, a townhouse built on a more complex plan that suited the Filipinos' changing lifestyle. But somewhere along the way, its evolution was cut short by the influx of Western architecture and modernism. Styles may change in this country, but this climate will never change. We have six months of rain, six months of sunshine, we have earthquakes, and we must learn from this. And we must learn from our ancestors, they knew best. It was Bobby Manosa's destiny to continue the evolutionary journey of Filipino architecture. Bobby Manosa's search for what it meant to be Filipino began early in his life. He wanted to be a pianist, but his father had other plans for him. Even as he studied and learned to appreciate both classical and modernist architecture, Bobby kept going back to the vernacular. The Bahay Kubo and the Bahay Nabato survived because they worked. They suited the Philippine climate, the Philippine landscape, and the Filipino way of life. Thus began his quest to bring Filipino architecture into the modern age. One, you must accept you're a Filipino. Mm -hmm. Two, you must accept that you must love the country. And third, let us practice architecture. Ultimately, Filipino architecture is an attempt to capture the Filipino psyche. The final goal must be to build distinctive structures that express the Filipino's culture and uplift his spirit. But they must also meet the needs of the Filipinos of today, rooted in culture, but also contemporary. Organic to the landscape, indigenous materials were the most suited, but transformed by design and technology to stand alongside the best in the world. The use of indigenous materials has, has always been a passion for me. It's now an upliftment of what the bamboo is or what the coconut tree is all about. Mm -hmm. The main theme behind this is, is to accept the material and, and get all of us in, in unison to just say what is ours is beautiful. Bobby Manosa is not just an architect, but an artist. For there is a strong element of intuition and play in his design approach, and a love for improvisation. In the end, Bobby's architectural style is a highly individual interpretation of Filipino design principles. Built structures that blend with the landscape, Indigenous materials transformed through modern processes, spaces that meet the needs of the individual, the family, the community, and the Filipino way of life. One eye must see architecture, the other one must feel. There's no other way you can decide to know it. You must feel it, you must know you are a Filipino. By the turn of the millennium, Bobby Manosa could proudly proclaim, I design Filipino, nothing else. 
At the top of his game, he could champion the cause to which he had devoted the better part of his life. A more friendly, enlightened, and relevant architecture. A distinctly Filipino architecture. To talk to Maniosa, architecture scholar Robert Powell said, is to be caught up in the zeal of an architect with a mission in life and a fervent desire to change the world for the better. Thanks to a successful practice, Bobby has changed his world for the better. No longer is he the lone voice in the wilderness crying, back to the Bahay Kubo. His ideas have helped to transform the built environment into one that is, more and more, recognizably Filipino. Younger architects have followed in his footsteps, seeking their own answers to the questions he once asked himself. Not why Filipino, for there was never any doubt in his mind, but what is Filipino? The answer is something each of us must discover for ourselves.